Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog style video. Today actually we are going to go grocery shopping in French. So I want to show you everything um, in French, you know, what the groceries are called like in French and also how a French supermarket looks like. I guess it's a little bit different than maybe a supermarket at your, you know, home country. I don't know where you guys are from, but um, a French supermarket is also very different from a German supermarket. And I've been living here for the past like eight years or so, but I'm still surprised at these French prices because they're very different than the German prices. You know, the average French supermarket is much more expensive than a German supermarket. So I want to show you kind of like what the weekly shopping costs are here for me. That's like on an average week. Uh, in a normal French supermarket. It's not a cheap one. It's not uh, an expensive one either So it's like a big one So we're gonna go there and I'm gonna show you like you know how the prices are because people were asking me what um, Their living expenses here in Paris are Paris is known to be one of the most expensive cities in the world and also in Europe um, apart from like London and the and like Sweden and stuff, but you know here in Paris the main things that are very expensive are, um, I would say, housing, apartments and stuff are super expensive because there's so little space and everybody is just wanting to come to Paris. You know, everybody also around France and live in Paris. So there is um, like a really high demand uh, for not so much like offer. So that's why the prices are really up high here. But um, another main difference is also, of course, like the food um, the groceries are very expensive here and you don't always get what you pay for <laughs> that is what I learned here you don't always get what you pay for so basically we're gonna go there I'm gonna show you you know gonna show you around and then take you with me on a normal day of grocery shopping so let's go on va faire les courses in French faire les courses grocery shopping allez on y va all right let's go all right, we're here in the first shop. It's called Picard. This is like a very famous all-around like um, French supermarket for frozen goods. Everything's frozen here, um, but like fresh. So yeah, I get like sometimes vegetables and stuff here, you know, because they I can keep them longer. See what they have here. Yeah, like I like to get um, onions and stuff here. And what else? Um, mushrooms. I'm gonna get some mushrooms. The mushrooms are champignons. Champignons de Paris, AMC, means um, sliced. So these are like sliced. Mushrooms. So I'm gonna get these. So here they have um, things of Spanish vegetable mixes. So this is um, Mexican mix. So legume is vegetable, and a la Mexican is uh, like the Mexican way. Legume a la Mexican. This, I also like to get ice cream from here. So here they have these um, different French pastries like um, croissants, pain au chocolat, it's like the chocolate bread, and then crepes. And of course, brioche bread, it's like um, soft bread. And here, too, everything that is tart is um, pie. So, tarte d'almond is mango, pie, mango and raspberry, tarte d'almond et au fromage, euh, framboise, euh, tarte la normande, that's a region in France, éclair au chocolat. So, it takes longer, of course, now to clear your things because it's obviously social distancing. So. Um, the lines are much longer. Oh, 
Bonsoir. Ça vous fait 5,55 euros, s'il vous plaît. Par carte, s'il vous plaît. Nous sommes ici au supermarché maintenant. Donc, je vais mettre sur le hand sanitizer. Donc, so, ici, vous avez plus de pastilles. Ce sont des beignets. Ils sont remplis de chocolat. Beignets au chocolat. Et bien sûr, chocolat donuts. Donuts au chocolat. These are Portuguese pastéis de nata. And um, yeah, um, flan. Flan is also very popular. French, um, kind of like um, cheesecake. And eclairs, again. Yeah, here you see that, and of course macarons. These are very cheap. Um, here you see that flan. Uh, it's kind of like a cheesecake. And then we have, of course, the typical French baguettes. All right, one of the first things I'm gonna get is, um, I made like a little list, but I lost it. Um, dessert, um, which are eggs. So here, I'm always getting these um, 12 eggs in one pack. Um, dessert is eggs. Oeuf frais is fresh eggs. Plein air is like they're raised in, you know, Planner, uh, I'll tell you in English. <laughs> so all of these are like different types of flowers. Flower in French you would say farine, la farine. So of course the different types of flowers here, for example, farine de sarrasin, that's a type of flower. That's um, buckwheat flour. So farine is flour. And then here we have the milk section. So milk, um, in French you would say lait, lait entier means, entier means whole, so this is whole milk, whole fat milk, and then écrémé is like um, skimmed milk. Alright, here is the fruits and vegetables. So I'm gonna get some um, courgettes. Courgette are zucchinis, as you can see. So the kilo is like 129. That's a good price. So at this supermarket, they always have promotions, you know, with um, veggies and fruits. So here you can see promos promotion. Um, so you can always get them like uh, for cheaper. They have have it like around every second week or so. So here we have citron jaune, which is lemon. Um, I'm gonna take one of these. So once I got the lemon here, because they don't have um, the set fixed price, because you have to weigh them. Actually, this lady over there weighs them, so you have to gonna take them over there and then weigh them. They do that at some um, like big supermarkets, but not in like all of them. Merci. Merci. Au in every supermarket, they have like an organic fruits and vegetables section. Um, not just fruits and vegetables, but like organic whole foods, you know, so this um, this is bio. This is what you would see here. They're always marked as bio. So these are all the imported fruits and they're like much more expensive. So for example, for this, for a kilo of avocado, this is tropical avocados, they're the best. 
um it's 750 for just a kilo so this would probably be like more than 750 yeah this would probably be around 750 for one avocado and this in cuba was like one euro of course it's more expensive because it's imported but it's much more expensive than for example imported goods in germany so for example for this um sweet potato it's 350 per kilo in germany this would be about 250 to 290 per kilo yeah so you know those are like little things that are much more expensive here so here you have all types of water i think this water in the states is pretty expensive because it's imported of course this is french avion um, but here it's not really expensive like a whole pack of six 1.5 liters cost around 250 or so yeah 250 so this is not expensive at all like water is very inexpensive but i think um, it's all over europe water is very inexpensive i was shocked to see the water prices in the states i was shocked to see that a bottle of um a bottle of coke was cheaper than a bottle of water like the first time i ever saw that in my life was in the states and i was shocked you could get, get like water for as for as little as 39 cents a whole water bottle and that's because everyone <laughs> because water is life everybody should have access to water you know all right so let's go get some um french cheese fromage so here are all the cheeses and that's a lot the french love their cheese so all kinds of different cheese i'm getting goat cheese which is um Fromage au chèvre, uh, fromage au lait de chèvre. Donc, uh, this one is goat cheese, so it looks like this. Hold on, actually, I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, which is this price. Now we're gonna get um, some milk, some dairy free milk. All right, first we're gonna get some uh, fromage blanc. This is fromage blanc. It is basically like um, just plain yogurt, you know, without sugar or anything. Just plain yogurt, fromage blanc. All right, this is the um, organic section. Everything, you, as you can see, like bio, bio, bio. It says bio everywhere. And like this. This is almond milk with cappuccino flavor. This is the price. The Sampong set. Yeah. Some gluten free pasta. So here we are at the rice section. Rice in French is riz. R I Z. Brie. Um, so this, for example, is riz complet. This means um, whole. Um, this is whole wheat rice. This is a poulet, which is chicken. This is turkey. You just get literally two slices of turkey for one euro eight, but it's just two slices. <laughs> so for one euro eight, you would have a whole pack of like at least 10 in Germany. This is such a French thing that I don't understand. So I'll show you, this is a total of 25, so that's about 
a week. That's about a week, but I didn't even buy like meat. That was just vegetarian grocery shopping. So I didn't buy a lot of um, vegetables either. I'm gonna buy the vegetables at the market, as I said, and usually I buy like some salmon or something meat, then it would be over like 30 euros, more 40 euros. So let's say for a whole week, it would be about 50. All right, now off to the market where I get the fruits and vegetables. So a quick recap of some of the things I bought. This is coconut milk. As you can see, the name, it says Le de Coco. Um, this is sweet potato, patatus, then zucchini, I told you, is rosette, lemon, citron, and then the um, shrimps. Shrimps are correct. And these are rice noodles. So this is uh, the pot for me. These are gluten-free spaghettis. So here you can see gluten-free means some gluten. And spaghettis is pot. Pot is pasta. And this the same. So gluten and uh, spinach. This is the French name. And then uh, mushrooms, this is the French name, champignon, and then cheese, which is, let me see if there's a French name on here, yeah, here, let me see, this you pronounce fromage de chef, this is goat cheese, dry tomatoes to my sushi and then almond milk le d'amond almond is almond and um, bananas banana and uh, tomatoes tomato and uh, uh, this egg all right so that was it Alright, so that was it for my French grocery shopping tour. <laughs> Hope you learned something and see you in my next video.